Hey Internet, it's Jake, and today we're delving into the sewers, where I'm going to show you how to make these miniature sewer drain pipes. The first thing we're going to start with is a standard roll of toilet paper. Now I'm going to make two of these. So I'm going to measure at three quarters and one and a half inches all the way around the tube. I'm keeping these fairly close together so that I can connect the dots to draw a pretty straight circle all the way around. Now the actual measurement you use will depend on how long you want your sewer pipe to be. I'm using a hobby knife to cut the sewer pipes here. You could use scissors, however I opted not to because they have a tendency to crush the pipe. And I want to keep this fairly round for the next step. Be sure not to poke, stab, or otherwise cut yourself while using your hobby knife. Now we're going to make the grate that goes over the front of the sewer pipe. I'm going to trace the inner dimension and because I want to match these uh, sewer grates up to the individual pieces that I cut, I've labeled the pipe and the grate piece that I'm cutting A and B. Uh, you could do it in any similar way, uh, using letters and numbers, color code, whatever you want to do. Of course, take the scissors and carefully cut it out. Now, I'm using a standard corrugated cardboard here. Uh, and the reason for this is we're going to use the corrugation in a few minutes uh, for the actual grate bars, which you'll see. Now, I just kind of eyeballed this. It's approximately a quarter inch. You don't want to go too much smaller than that, or you'll compromise the integrity of your grate. And then I use my hobby knife to cut out the interior, leaving me with a ring. Again, be careful not to cut yourself because you are pressing pretty hard. Now we're going to add the bars to the sewer grate. Of course, for this, we're going to use toothpicks. Here's where that corrugation comes in handy to just line the toothpicks up however they'll fit and then I use my trusty clippers to cut the ends off. You can slide the toothpick up or down so that you don't have any bits left over. Now of course I don't throw away those ends of the toothpicks. We all know that we can use these toothpick points for teeth or spikes so I keep them and you would do well to keep them yourself. As I said, I'm making two of these, so here you can see the two grates. Now, what I'm going to do, matching my A grate up with my A pipe, I line it up, and then on the inside, some PVA glue all the way around. Now, this next step is optional um, to go around the inside and kind of fill it in. It's not really necessary because once your grate is in place, those toothpicks have nowhere to go. They can't come out. Now we're going to add banding onto the pipes. The number of bands you use will depend on how long your pipe is. Here I've measured four quarter inch strips. I pre-measured the circumference of these pipes to come out to about five and a half inches. So I've marked those bands at that length and cut the strips out. Now I'm just test fitting it. I deliberately cut these a little bit long just in case because I'd rather have it be too long than too short. Um, if you look carefully, you can see that I kind of pull these along my thumbnail to add a curve to it. That just helps it to adhere, uh, to conform to the roundness of the pipe a little bit better uh, without wanting to pull away as they have a tendency to do. You can see there that I'm doing that again. Of course, I'm just using a thin bead of PVA glue all the way around the ring. Now, these pipes are meant to be small... Um, like sewer drains that are sticking up out of the ground or in the build that I'll be using them for, they're actually gonna be placed horizontally. So they're short. 
Of course, the next step is to paint these pipes. You hear I've already spray painted them black and I deliberately broke out some of the bars on one of these with my clippers to give it that broken through look. Now I'm just painting these with a simple metallic gunmetal. Um, I wanted to start with a metallic. Uh, really you can, it depends on what your dungeon theme is or your build theme. You could do these in copper, gold, clay, whatever. Choose the appropriate color. But I wanted this metallic look. So I'm painting everything in this metallic gunmetal. Now, of course, our sewer pipes are sewer pipes, so they're down in the muck, in the grime. So I want them to look dirty, not shiny silver. So I'm using my black paint and I'm just adding some water to it to get it nice and wet. I want it to wash over the entirety of the piece. So I'm painting the entire thing, bars, the facing, everything, and I'm going counter to the grain because I want this to just get into all these nooks and crannies and these little bits of texture that have popped up on the cardboard from the glue and from the handling. It's really going to give it a nice grimy look. And that's going to really be our base for the next weathering steps. Um, again, depending on the uh, material that you use, you might use a different kind of wash if you have a different uh, type of pipe or if your pipe you want them to be gleaming then you could skip this step Not every pipe needs to be filthy dirty. These are sewer pipes. So in my case, they do need to be filthy and dirty Now I've decided to add kind of a moldy or mildew look To my pipes and I'm doing this prior to adding the rust color and I use a, a, a English ivy a stiff bristled brush and I get a little bit of paint on there and then rub the excess off onto the paper towel down there so that I don't put it on too heavy. I want that dirty metal to show through from below. And I'm just coating the whole pipe to give it that good kind of mildewy look. Going over the bars, everything. It doesn't show up too well in these shots because of the darkness of the shot, but I guarantee you'll be able to see the weathering techniques applied in the photographs at the end of the video. And I encourage you to experiment with other colors um, and techniques. Now for the final step, we're going to add some rust. I chose to mix my own rust using a little bit of a Tuscan red, red some nutmeg brown, and then just a dab of pumpkin orange because that's what I had. I liked the way this rust color turned out. Same dry brush technique. I determine which is the downside of the pipe, and I kind of drag from the great and then I just kind of stipple all along the edges keeping that brush dry and not getting it on too thick get a nice rust pattern on it. Again I encourage you to experiment with this based on your own dungeon and the materials that your pipes are made from. Now let's take a look at the final product. Here you can see four sewer grates that I made, one broken, all mildewy and rusted up, ready for your sewer adventures. Now this could be the entrance to a dungeon, it could be just an added decorative feature. Coming up soon you'll see how I use these in my own sewer themed dungeon. If you like this video be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Please do hit that like button down below. Leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. Remember. Imagine, build, play. Thanks for watching.